brought to you by the Every Dollar app. Start budgeting for free today. Uh, I'm wondering if you have advice for me. I have, I have about 7.8 million in financial assets, with the bulk of it, uh, 6 million in tax deferred IRAs, 401ks, and 403bs. Uh, I'm a 66 year old guy, and I'm taking uh, Social Security uh, amounts of about 3,600 dollars a month, and I have a pension of about 1,000 dollars a month. My problem, and I think you can see it, is that in seven years, I'm going to go off a cliff uh, with required minimum distributions on my tax-deferred accounts. Yep. And I can't solve this. Um, This is going to boost me into the highest tax bracket, I think, and trigger IRMA and other kind of penalties. Is there any answer for me? God, I hate it when you got $7 million worth of money. (laughs) <laughs> way to go man you did great i just wish it wasn't all in tax deferred oh my yeah, gosh i didn't realize that till too late yeah so okay so is it all 401k or what is it? most of it is it's iras uh the bulk of it is in uh, 401k and 403d but yeah. some of it's in iras did you say some of it was taxed was uh um uh like a 457, just deferred income? Yes, yes, yes. 457B, that's what it is. Yeah. H- how much of it is that? Uh, geez, you would ask me that. I think it's about half half of it. Is mm-hmm. it half of the uh, $6 million is in that. So the extreme answer that's probably, that is not the answer, but this is helping me run the math while I'm live here on the air with you, is if you just moved it all to Roth, you would pay taxes on all of it now. In one fell swoop. If you did. I'm, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just trying to work that through in my head because that's basically going to cost you about 30 cents on the dollar. And so that's going to cost you like two, two and a half million dollars. Yikes. And that leaves you $5 million, 100% tax free and 100% tax free growth from now on. And when you leave that money in the estate, there won't be any tax to your heirs because it's in a Roth inherited traditional becomes taxable, of course, to the next generation because you hadn't yet paid taxes on it. And of course, Roth has no RMD, right? So that's the extreme that makes me want to shoot somebody. When I think about two and a half million dollars going to the stupid government, uh, so that's not my answer, but I'm trying to think through that solves all of the problems except the one, except the two and a half million dollar problem, right? Yeah. Yeah. So is there some iteration off of that where we get the enough of it out of, and we take enough pain that we get the RMDs down or do we want to just bite the bullet and be done and rip the band aid? Oh, that's so harsh. That's yeah, the cliff. And, and that's, that's the problem I'm facing. I can't do enough over the next seven years to really make a dent. Oh, you can do it all. You could roll it all to a Roth. Unless I, yes, unless I do it all at once. Well, or you can do half of it. I mean, you, you can do, you can do enough. You're just going to pay taxes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's no, no penalties, just taxes. Right. And any, of course you've got to manage, if you're trying to manage tax brackets, like you said, you move a hundred you start bumping brackets, you move 200, you're in another bracket, right. you know? And so you're start you get into bracket creep and that's why it's pretty much going to be 30% because it, that's what you're saying. You can't do enough at a low tax bracket right. that's what I meant to get to, to do any good. No, you can't. That's the other one end of the spectrum is you get slaughtered. The other end of the spectrum is you bleed to death a drop at a time. Oh gosh. You know, and that, that's, that's, right. that's God, that is an interesting I'm not disagreeing with your guy. You are heading for a cliff. You can stop it, but the, the, the antidote is very painful. Uh, I don't know what to do. If he did half and took, you know, still going to, he's still going to have RMDs that are going to be, so you got three and a half million, the RMDs that start at 72 and a half. Uh, that's Yeah. So here's the formula you could run. Here's another formula that's not a full full bleed out, okay? Um, you could run and say, how much, what's the most I can leave in 
and the RMD doesn't trigger IRMA and the RMD doesn't put me in the top tax bracket. Okay, so what's the most mm-hmm. I can leave in and then take the hit on the rest of it and go ahead and move it to Roth? That's a that's a somewhat of a middle ground. There's nothing in this equation that's not painful, though. So there's pain somewhere in this equation. Yeah, uh, that's what I was afraid of. I yeah. thought maybe there was a magic bullet somewhere. No, I don't. I don't. I don't I, if there is, I don't know it. Um, no. I have systematically, I'm 63, and I've systematically moved 100% of my stuff to Roth over the past decade for that reason because i knew i was going to have rmd coming down my throat and i knew from an estate planning standpoint i'm likely to never touch any of it you probably will never touch the mass vast majority of this it's going to your heirs and so you've got another problem if you go the rmd route is your heirs are going to get this tax problem Uh, shoot because the inherited iras and under the new stinking biden rules they're going to make them take that money and uh like five years or it's either five or 10 years. They got to pull it all. Yeah. You can't leave it. It's worse than RMDs. Inherited IRAs have required distributions on them now. Wow. That's more that they're more than the RMDs. A lot more. Um, the secure act. That's yeah, what that that's Biden right. crap was called. And so, because they, what happened was people were rolling it to the, uh, to the inherited IRAs and never touching it. And so the government was never getting their money. And so they figured out they want their money out of there. And so they're requiring these inherited IRAs to be liquidated. I believe it's 10 years. 10 years. I believe it might, it might have moved it even to seven, but it's really fast. Huh, Kurt, I don't know. I, I, I don't have good advice for you on the air live right this second. I will think about it. And, um, um, but, Is there but, a way I can circle back? The knowledge that I have, yeah, you're welcome to call back in. We'll put you back on. We'll t- do this again. But the knowledge that I have is um, might not have the bullet if there is. It doesn't have the bullet if there is a silver bullet out there. And I'm kind of thinking now the more I sit in this, if I'm in your shoes, I might just, and I'm thinking more about your kids, I might just move it all. I might watch the election and see what happens with uh, tax rates after the election because Trump had lower tax rates in than Biden does on people like you and me uh, because we're evil and we must be punished. We've built wealth. And so um, and you're feeling that right now. You know, you feel this is what tax policy does to people right here. Work your whole freaking life and then you get screwed by the government again. So. as soon as I can anticipate the lowest possible tax bracket for this money, I might move it all. Okay. And then I'm done with it. I got rid of Irma. I got rid of RMDs. I got rid of inheritance problem, but I also got rid of 2 million bucks. Yeah. And okay. you're 66 and you know, what's going to happen to that 5 million is that when you are 73, it's going to be 10 million. And when you're 81, it's going to be 20 million. And if you're healthy, that's a high probability, actuarially speaking. Mm -hmm. And so $20 million is going to be taxable instead of 7.6. That's another reason I might go ahead and do it. So do it now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not advising you to do that, but at this moment, that's starting to feel better than the other crap that we're all sitting here talking about. None of this feels good. It's a shame that a man works his whole life and starts from nothing and ends up with $7.6 million by saving, and he's 66 years old, and he has to sit and decide which way the government's going to screw him. That's a shame. You people that vote wrong, you should be ashamed of yourself. Create your free every dollar budget today, the simplest way to budget for your life.